Hello, and welcome to Cry Havoc Wargaming, dedicated to bringing you the uncommon. For those of you who haven't met me, my name is Ron, and today I'm going to do an after-action report of the Scorpion Sting, the second of four adventures in the Scorpion's Lair installment for Battlefront. So let's get started. So earlier we did the first adventure where the Red Scorpion escaped from uh, prison in Jehalabad and is being chased by forces of the UN trying to capture and reclaim him. Today we're going to do the second adventure, the second uh, story. In this he has uh, moved into a industrial complex and is endeavoring to hide himself uh, in three um, technicals being pursued by the Delta forces in a armed Humvee. As you may remember in the last episode, in the end, though taking a lot of casualties for the Taliban side, I mean, he ended up making it off the table. So uh, hopefully we'll catch him this time. So let's see what happens. Let's go to the gaming table. Mission two, the Scorpion Sting, October 20th, 2002, 1900 hours. Three trucks race through the streets southeast of Jahalabad, pursued by an armored Humvee. Automatic fire erupts from the lead truck as the pursuer closes the distance. Workers dive to the sides as the group blazes into the heart of the Hazari Shazi Industrial Park, bullets shredding containers full of unknown cargo. Sit rep. The Red Scorpion, having narrowly escaped capture in Jahalabad, now races towards a large industrial park just east of the city. UN forces, having picked up the trail via drone, are in pursuit of the small caravan. Communications from the command indicate that the industrial park you have just entered is occupied by several civilian workers. Your orders are to capture or eliminate the target with limited civilian casualties. Uh, the UN player, uh, which will be the live player, myself, uh, is the attacker and will continue to use, or I will be using uh, the Delta Rangers. We're using basically the same group that we started the campaign with. Delta Rangers, we uh, have a free Humvee with a turret mounted 50 caliber machine gun. Uh, so that's visible just here. The uh, terrorist player has 750,000 to build and reinforce their force. They must all be teams and they must all be comprised of militia level mo models. Uh, what I've done with the extra money is I've added an extra team. So they now have three teams. I also upgraded one of their weapons to a um, RPG. And beyond that, they have, they get for free the, the Scorpion and they get three trucks. And all those, those trucks are presently carrying light machine guns. Because the UN player is in possession of the terrorist documents from the previous mission, they automatically win initiative on the first and the last turns of this mission. Deployment, we are set up for the beginning of the game already. All of the UN players are in the Humvee and all the terrorists are in these three trucks. Can, they can remain in those trucks for the first turn of the game. Everybody but the machine gunners have to exit on the beginning of turn two. Any vehicle that's still standing on turn four can be re-entered. I've already done a gameplay how to play video for this particular game. So it's not my intention to give a complete rundown of everything we're doing or to, to go through all a lot of definition regarding the rules. Uh, my intention instead is to uh, race through it pretty quickly and give you a rundown of what's, what's happened each time. The UN has initiative. All right, so the first turn ends. The vehicles have come up. The uh, Humvee fired into this truck, which crammed into the truck in front of it. Uh, he's taken out that, the collision took out both of the, uh, the machine gun and in fact uh, wounded and suppressed uh, one of the passengers in each of the other vehicles. They've all run for cover. Uh, the machine gun has managed to drop. Uh, he's been fired at, but not taken out. And he's managed to, um, to drop, a, well, I guess he didn't drop another man. This, this fellow was dropped by, um, by the captain. Uh, and we go on 
to rolling for initiative for turn two. So uh, Prophet manages to clip Najub Shabia as he comes over that wall. He wounds him, hamstrings him, and suppresses him. He goes prone, uh, but he's fired back on by Kadil here, still in range bound two because of the submachine gun roll, and they're in cover. Well, that was a rough turn. Um, Boyle managed to reload the machine gun, but he got fired at by uh, the other machine gun. The vehicle got hit, taken out, and um, and Boyle was, was killed. He was severely wounded and he'd already been injured once. Oh. We gotta do something about that machine gun. So the Humvee's been hit. Sergeant Boyle was, was still in it uh, when it was hit and he was killed by the, the shots from this guy here. The Taliban have all started to fall back over here and their, their leader is about ready to leave the board. They're dropping like flies. We've, we just took out Nadir Sahid here uh, behind the wall where they're, the UN is moving uh, closer. They have not searched anybody. They have taken one casualty themselves with the loss of Boyle and, and with their vehicle. So that was unfortunate. Um, but that was the combat phase. So now we roll for initiative again. Ooh. Uh, we have an assess. They do not. Too bad they didn't. They would have gotten it this turn. It was very, very close. Uh, and now this is turn four. Uh, so, movements. Well, Scorpion gets off the board. Get into cover here. He's going to be idle. Um, Prophet's going to get over there. And we have to shoot. We have to take that guy down. We're going to shoot him with shoot him with Cruz. One hit. That's it. Wounded, bleeding, suppression. So Cruz manages to take the machine gunner out finally. This fellow's gonna go ahead and try to shoot. A Prophet, he's at range two. Prophet's in the open. The Prophet is quicker, so Prophet shoots at him with a negative three. Uh, he hits, one hit. Wounded, hamstrung, suppressed. That kills him. And that was their turn, so it is ours. Go ahead and dodge forward. Oh, go ahead and search. One point for searching him. They have no one else. So it's gonna go to movement. Kadir came around here getting ready to throw a grenade at the UN, but they, they moved in, and they moved in in the close combat range. And so uh, this is going to be Harry, and he's probably going to die immediately. Oh, technically he can't. He's not in line of sight. This is not close combat. And he can throw his grenade, just like he wanted. Ouch. Oh, so that it's our turn. We get to throw a grenade first. The way this is going to work, 
I'm going to go ahead and throw this. We're going to well, we're going to try to throw it right on him. So we're going to roll for our direction, and it is a six because he can't actually see where he's hitting. So it should have been measured from here, so that this actually missed by a lot, which means he's going to throw. Um, he's tossing a grenade at us. Four inches. He also cannot see, but he only got four. Oh, this is bad. Throws a grenade right into there. Hits two of our guys. I'm going to roll for Dunn first. Dunn is wounded and bleeding. And Prophet is wounded and stunned. And then it is a green wounded wing clipped. Wow, that was rough. Turn five, we've got movement phase first. They're gonna clobber him. They're gonna come around that corner. Working as a fire team. The second in command, uh, Kadir, runs for cover over here. Prophet shoots. He reacts by returning fire. He, they both miss. Then um, Dunn shoots. There is no reactionary fire, and he wounds and kills Kadir. Uh, that is the last of the uh, Taliban. Uh, they're all dead, except that uh, Red Scorpion has successfully got off the table. Uh, the allies have only actually searched one body. There you have it. The Red Scorpion has escaped again. Uh, a lot of casualties were taken by the Taliban forces, but at what cost? The hero of the battle was certainly Sergeant Boyle, the machine gunner for Delta. But in the end, he paid the ultimate price and lost his life when his Humvee was destroyed by one of the technical gunners from the Taliban. The Red Scorpion has once again escaped. Uh, most of his terrorists were killed. One of them has been searched, which will give some advantages in the next game. But he has continued to move his way deeper into the industrial complex. So we will have to return next time to see what happens to the Red Scorpion. I don't doubt at all that I've made some mistakes. In fact, this is a solo game, but I kept forgetting to use the solo driving cards. If you've noticed other mistakes or you have other comments you would like to make or you have questions about the game, go ahead and put those in the comments down below. If you have ideas for further content you'd like to see us present here at Cry Havoc Wargaming, go ahead and put that down below as well. If you've enjoyed this video or if you've gotten anything useful out of it, go ahead and hit like. And if you would like notifications of further videos like this one designed to hopefully entertain or to educate you on how better to use your money and time in your gaming hobby, then um, go ahead and hit subscribe. Until next time, cheers.